Here's adventure. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Disco Kid. Sit down, Manny. I received a strange letter from a real estate broker in Echo, a man by the name of Holbrook. I don't know whether he's a crackpot or not. Anyway, he's asked me to confirm rumors that we're extending our railway into Echo. That sounds like another phony land promotion, using the railway as bait. That's what the letter intimates. Run up there and check into it. Oh, here, you better take Holbrook's letter with you. Thanks. I've already advised him to expect you. Yes, sir. How'd you make out? What a question. I'm wearing his clothes, and I've got his credentials right here. I knew I could depend on you. Say, uh, I thought Holbrook was your confidential broker. What made him write to the railroad? I don't know. I was just starting to unload when up jumped the devil. How'd you find out about the letter? I accidentally got my hands on the railroad's reply. <laughs> Some accident. What do we do now? Get rid of him? No, no. No, you're going to convince him that the railroad is extending its line to Echo. And that should make him the biggest sales booster for the biggest land rush of the century. All right, just leave him to me. By the way, I didn't have time to get rid of Manning's body. I better tell some of the boys to go down and bury him. Good idea. This is getting too open. All these signs for the last three miles say the same thing, only different. I wonder what anybody wants with this land. It's not even fit for grazing. I think this Blackie paints these signs for his own displeasure. Pancho, the word is pleasure. Well, I will tell him when I see him. What are you looking at, Cisco? Looks like a man down there. Choked to death. And from the looks of things, thrown over that cliff. Maybe why you don't got no clothes on? I don't know. Hey, this don't make sense, Cisco. Why do they have to undress him to kill him? They didn't. They killed him to undress him. But why? Hey, look. Those Jaspers beat us to it. 
and the boss ain't gonna like this. Come on. Maybe to take his clothes so they will look like him? You better go to Echo and tell the sheriff about it. Every time you stick my nose where it don't belong, somebody want to put a bullet in it. How do you think I want to smell without a nose? Like a bunch of lilacs? <laughs> tell me, Mr. Holbrook, if you don't mind, just how did you happen to find out we were extending the railroad to Echo? Well, a couple of months ago, a stranger named James Blake dropped into my office. He asked me to help him buy up a lot of land. I did, and I got it for him dirt cheap, too. Do you mind telling me just how much you paid for it? Well, I'm afraid that's a little confidential. Yes, of course, I shouldn't have asked. Uh, how did you become suspicious of, uh, what'd you say his name was? Blake. Well, right after he bought up all that land, he started the story that the railroad is coming through here. Then he sold a few parcels to some friends of mine at mighty fancy prices. Beats me how he ever found out about our plans. I thought we were keeping them our deepest secret. But you can tell your client, Mr. Blake, that he's not going to hold up our railroad for any fancy prices. I think I'll let you tell him that, Mr. Manning. But there's one thing I'm going to tell him. Yes? What's that? That I was a blamed old fool for ever suspecting him. Good, Good day, day, sir. Thank you. There is that man we chased, Pancho. Well, why don't we chase him some more? I'll take care of that, gentleman. You go tell the sheriff about the body. The sheriff? Me? <laughs> well, but still... Uh... It was bad enough you were messing up that job. Did you have to come here to tell me about it? If those men trailed but you... But I told you we gave him the slip. What's the matter? That hombre pulling up outside, he was one of them. You lame brain. Beat it. Hello. Hello. Is Mr. Holbrook in his office? No, but I'm his daughter. May I help you? Are you sure he's not in? Of course I'm sure. Pardon me. You can't go in there without being announced. I'll be announced. Don't worry. You wish to see me? No. I wish to see the man that just came in here. You mean Mr. Smith? I don't know his name, but I want to see him. He just left. Yeah, in a mighty big hurry, too. Wonderful things that ever happened to this town, mister. Why, a year from now, Echo will be a metropolis. It's a mecca in the mountains. A people's paradise. If the railway extends its line. What do you mean, if? 
by Mr. One of their top agents, Mr. Manning, arrived here on the stage this morning. Really? Yes, sir. In person. <laughs> I yep. suppose that explains why your real estate man here, Mr. Holbrook, has reaped such a harvest. He's a mighty lucky man to have Mr. Blake associated with him. Oh, it's... yes, Mr. Blake. Yep. Just who is he? Blake? Well, he's the man who started the boom in Echo. The fellow that got the railway to extend his line here, you know. Must be a very clever man. That he is. That he is. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, try to get to work now. Bye. Goodbye. Pancho, I think we'll buy some land here. Hey, what do you want with land, and what are we going to use for money? Bottle tops? Oh, we'll worry about that later. In a little while, meet me in front of the real estate office. Land, there's just the pile of dirt. Now, I want you folks to know that you have a mighty fine friend in Mr. Holbrook here. He's induced me to let you have some of my land. But remember, I'm not guaranteeing that the railroad is coming through here. I think I could be interested in some of your land. Well, won't you step into the office and we'll talk this over. Thank you. Sit down. Thank you. Well, now that everybody in town is making money off of this railroad, I think Cisco should make some, too. Cisco? You're not the Cisco kid, are you? Is there more than one? Well, I'm... I'm sure you can afford anything you want. How far would you like to go? That depends on the land and on the price. Well, first things first. Suppose you take a look at the land. Good idea. Well, Larry. Yes, sir. I'd, uh... I'd like you to take this gentleman out to Coyote Pass and show him around. Sure, Mr. Blake. I'll be glad to. I think you might like this property, Cisco. Could be very interesting. I'm sure you'll find it so. Thank you. Pancho, take Loco to the blacksmith and have him replace his left hind shoe. Blake wants you to do a little job for him, Rocky. Yeah? Yeah. He's arranged for Larry to show the Cisco kid some land. He's going to take him through Coyote Pass. The Cisco kid, huh? Uh-huh. And he wants you to get Cisco. This is the nicest job I've had in a long time. Loco. You got good horse senses. But I forget to remember. Oh, oh yes, I know. The right front shoe was to get away. The right hind shoe was to run for it. And the left front shoe was to follow me. And the left hind shoe was to get out of sight, eh? Then maybe I'm going to get the front foot where the back foot should be, and... <laughs> well, anyhow, we follow him, eh? your gun. Get down. What's the idea? Get down, I said. Take off your hat. What are you trying to do? Take off your hat, I said. Your shirt, too.
Put it more on the back of your head. Farther back. Good. Now get up. No, on my horse. Now let's go. Somebody else did, but the bullet was intended for me. Here, give me a hand with the button. Excuse me. Stop crowding. You'll have to wait your turn. When Fisk goes in the hurry, that is his turn. You thought you were very clever, Blake. But you didn't have me fooled for a minute. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't, eh? What this will make remember it. Get the sheriff, Martin. You better watch this go. He's a pretty good fighter. <laughs> Nothing, Cisco. But I have something very, very interesting. 
The letter Holbrook wrote to the railroad. How did it get here in Blake's room? Pancho, we're paying a visit to Mr. Manning's room. doing here? Looking? What are you doing here? Thinking. Thinking about what? Thinking about what Cisco said in the office and wondering how much of it was true. Oh, that. I take it all back, what I said about you and your father. Why? He told her Cisco and told Pancho too. Because Blake and this man supposed to be Andrew J. Manning are thieves. Certainly your father wouldn't have written a letter to the railroad if either of you were mixed up in it. Hold it. Nice guessing, Cisco. Drop your gun belts. Go through, Sheriff. Pancho, are you all right? I'm all right. Here, give me a hand with that car. Cisco, I have a key. The jig's up, Blake. We better clear out fast. No, you don't. Let me help you with your bag. The jail is right across the alley. Keep moving. Are you all right? Yes, thanks. What are you doing, Pancho? Just something for my own displeasure. Very good shooting, Pancho. But I told you a million times, the word is pleasure. And I told you a million times, it is Blake and these signs and this whole business give Pancho nothing but displeasure. Well, it seems to agree with you. Oh, ah, Cisco. <laughs> oh, Pancho. The Cisco kid will be back in a moment. But first, an important message. Goodbye, amigos. See you soon! 